those first few notes just sends butterflies through you. You just feel that magic of Christmas coming. The Nutcracker is the most festive ballet. We can start Christmas without it. The music just absolutely gets you in the mood and really tells you what to do. We're fortunate to have a production that stands the test of time. When I hear the music, I feel like, oh, Christmas is here. Every single year, the lights turn on in Covent Garden and everyone's getting slightly excited and you know that Christmas is around because Nutcracker's on. So Herr Drosselmeyer, he's a clockmaker, a toy maker, an inventor of magic tricks. Being Clara's godfather, he turns up at the Christmas Eve party and he brings along a load of different magic tricks. Drosselmeyer arrives and then give her a special Christmas present, which is a Nutcracker doll. Which is me. <laughs> <laughs> Hans Peter is Drosselmeyer's nephew whose soul's been locked inside the Nutcracker doll. The only way that the spell can be broken is if somebody can fall in love with this. They call it an ugly wooden nutcracker. I don't think he's ugly at all. Later in the night, she goes to downstairs to find nutcracker doll, and then Joseph Maya appears again, and then, yeah, he starts to use his magic. Her Joseph Maya takes both Clara and the nephew Nutcracker into this kingdom of sweets where they meet the sugar plum and the prince. We welcome Clara and Hans Peter to the kingdom of the sweets after their kind of epic journey traveling through different lands. Every time when I come back to this role, there is so much more to add. That is definitely helping me to go beyond my Maximum. You know, when you both resist here, that's what's beautiful. Think of the resistance. There, 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 there. Nice. I like the way that Darcy helps us find out our version of the pas de as well. Don't cross the arms. She's got a, a great eye for finding those details and finding the ways to help us make it our own. It's one of the most challenging pas de deux. It requires a lot of stamina. It's very hard, but I can actually enjoy dancing because of him. Fumi's absolutely like breathtaking in this role because she's so musical, but she also has so much joy. And that's, I think, why I love dancing with you. Because you are such a joy. <laughs> that's nice, very nice end. Rehearsals start early on with just the simpler sections of the ballet and things where people can be separated into different studios. So great, that really lovely. You've got some really nice stuff in there. And then you go into a full call where you piece the whole thing together, trying to get the story to work together. With the flag waving, come forward of the square. So be here. Do you understand so what I mean? Then, yeah, you, then we'll see you. It's a beautiful ballet because everyone's in it together. There's so many intricate roles in Nutcracker. You also get to see a really young generation blooming. For us, it's a really special way to see how we've grown as dancers and people. What's involved in getting the, the Nutcracker up on the stage is immense. Our stage management, who are amazing, come into the studio so that whilst we're actually rehearsing in the studio, we have all various props that are available but you're also working with various teams within the Opera House to pull everything together, wigs, wardrobe, the stage crew. The set is a real big part of where the story goes and, and part of the journey that we're all on. There's engineers, carpenters, metal workers, painters, prop makers. Everyone's got their role. That's why we can achieve what we do. It's 1984 production, so it's been done quite a few times, and I've been <laughs> there all the way through. So it's an old friend, really. It's the same design, but it's developed enormously over the years. This magnificent tree that you can see behind me now was once a wind-up tree, <laughs> and it was telescopic. And that was because the stage machinery couldn't do what it can do now. We've done a big job on the tree this year with the electrics. We've 
completely rewired and replaced all the candle lights with state-of-the-art LED flicker bulbs, which are much more sustainable. It's not just the Royal Ballet doing the Nutcracker, it's the Royal Opera House as a whole that comes together and uh, creates this incredible piece of magic. It is stunning music. It is so Christmassy. The Nutcracker has a special place in everyone's heart. It was the first ballet I saw, and then I fell in love with ballet. It's just stunning, the music, the costumes. It's such a beautiful, magical ballet. This production has really stood the test of time because I grew up watching it, and now we get to perform it. It has all the Christmas spirit and magic. It's just a joy to dance. It's about bringing the whole establishment together because it is Christmas and there's no better way of doing it than with Nutcracker. <laughs>